Coral reefs are colorful underwater forests which seem with life and act as a natural protective barrier for coastal regions. Fish and other underwater life species call this home, but with warmer water temperatures brought by climate change, it begins to stress the corals because they are very sensitive to the change in temperatures. In one year alone, 16% of the world's coral reefs were wiped out. This is because when water is too warm, corals will expel the algae, otherwise known as zoanthella, living in their tissues, causing the coral to turn completely white. This is called coral bleaching. Much of the carbon dioxide that enters our atmosphere dissolves into the ocean. In fact, oceans have absorbed about one third of the carbon dioxide produced by human activities since the 1800s and about one half of the carbon dioxide produced by burning fossil fuels. When carbon dioxide increases, ocean pH decreases. This is called ocean acidification. With this occurring, corals cannot absorb the calcium carbonate they need to maintain their skeletons. And their stony skeletons that support those corals will begin to dissolve. Coral reefs are the most diverse and valuable ecosystems on Earth. They provide shelter for many different species of fish, and not only do these fish increase the diversity of our world, but also reef fish and mollusks feed between 30 to 40 million people per year. Also, corals are very important in controlling the amount of carbon dioxide in ocean water. Coral pulp even turns carbon dioxide in the ocean water into limestone shells. Without coral, the amount of carbon dioxide in the water would rise dramatically and would affect all living things on Earth. In addition to all that, the coral reefs protect coasts from strong currents and waves by slowing down the water before it gets to the shore. That is why it's called barrier reefs. So not only would we destroy one of the most diverse ecosystems in the ocean by producing fossil fuels and continuing to pollute our planet, but we would also pollute one of the most important resources to life. But there are some possible prevention measures that include help reduce pollution, such as biking and riding the bus, dispose of trash properly, and don't leave unwanted fishing lines or nets in the water or at the beach. Any kind of litter pollutes the water. Plant a tree. Trees reduce runoff into the oceans and can contribute to the reversal of global warming. Or, the most important, you can contact your government representatives and demand they take action to protect the coral reefs and stop sewage pollution of our oceans and expand marine protected areas and take steps in the reversal of global warming. It's our planet, let's keep it clean.